What's up everyone, Brandon JW23 back again for another YouTube video. What's happening guys? Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade OS 10. Uh, don't know why it's there. OS 10 back down to OS 9.3.2. Alright, I'm going to show you a link that you need to get. I'm going to put this in the description called IPSW.me. Pick, uh, go to that uh, website. Pick the, what device you want, plus you only, only need to get iOS 9.3.2. You can't pick nothing else, in, that's in red, because it would not work with it, alright? That's that. Remember, IPSW.me. So, you go back to your iTunes, go ahead, and if you own a uh, Windows computer, you would hit Shift Update. If you are on Mac, you would hit Option and update okay that's only that's the only reason that's only two reasons now I'm going to tell you this ahead of time also when you do do this you'll um you will you will not lose your data but any stuff that's backed up or saved in the cloud or on your computer that is already in ios 10 you cannot ref, you cannot uh bring your backup data back from ios 10. second <clears throat> If any uh, any beta come out, you can't upgrade. If you still got iOS 10 beta one, you can't update it to beta to beta. And yes, you all you can update to the full release after the betas is over with in like September, then like September sometime. Okay. Now, like I said before, shift click check for update. You bring this up. Do not click restore iPad or restore device period because you will lose your stuff. We want to go for me. I'll go to downgrade uh, downloads iPad restore and boom. And this will check up and all right. You see right there. iTunes will update your iPad Pro, the iPad to iOS 9.3.2. Please verify update. And that's doing the extracts and the update for it. Now, um, before I continue, well, at, well, no, not before, but after, or what I was about to say. If you got iPad or iPhone that is under a carrier, like Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, you know, Verizon, stuff like that, you may, may not, may need a, excuse me, you may, may not have to upgrade your update your service um update you know for your um for your device uh it may happen it may not happen i don't know for sure uh when i did the ios 10 beta 1 update i've been noticing some weird uh uh weird funky uh feelings and vibes going on with my phone that's only because I was on 9.3.2 all the way up to 9, uh, iOS 10, meaning like uh, can't, you can't send text messages while you're on the phone. While you calling, I mean, that was a little bit weird, but that was doing it before I did uh, the data, well, the beta update. So that's that. But at, I mean, if that happens, it will pop up and show you what's what, this, that, and the other, so forth and so forth. And boom, just do like that. Um, I want to say you could go to settings on your iPad or iDevice, go down to your beta. I want to say you could delete the beta. Let me see if I can delete the beta and put my code in. All right. Yes, yes, you can. You could delete the beta. The beta is gone, so you don't have to worry about it. Remember, it's still on OS 10 in your beta, so it's not going to hurt. Not going to hurt your device at all. Now, just sit back and let that uh, extract from your software ball kind of reach here. That's pretty much it. I'll be back. Okay, and there you go. Just like that, you are back on 9.3. 3.2 to show you boom there you go now 
you officially got your original wallpaper back. Now you got like a, the original slot to unlock, slide up for your camera. Everything is back just like it is. So there you go. That's the video. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more information, some more tech, and also comment, probably bring some more anime type gameplay, you know, bring some gameplays and stuff in soon. Other than that, Brandon JW23 signing out. Once again, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Talk to y'all next time. See ya.